remembering rapper Nipsey Hussle with two men who knew the late rapper early on in his career. One dug deep into his archives despite a hard drive crash, found some old footage and music. Here is a trip back in time. So HJ, we're going to see what today? Uh, you're going to see exclusive footage of, of Nipsey. About 10 years ago, uh, I got introduced to Nipsey right at high school to a mutual friend. Pretty women That's a young Nipsey hustle. Shooting that video, H.J. Chong. Capturing what we call humanity in, in the advertising world, where they're smiling, they're showing him the humanity side of, of, of their life. I met up with Chong. So this was in Fairfax, he had a show, and they brought me on to record it. The crowd was just so happy to see Nipsey. <laughs> and music producer Tito Rodriguez for a trip back in time. To me, he was just like a young, young baby coming into the, you know, to the music world. Rodriguez was in a punk band when he met Hustle. We had the same management. Johnny Shipes was his manager. That manager said, I got this young rapper named Nipsey who's going to be bigger than Snoop Dogg, who's going to be the biggest rapper in the world. Grammy nominated in the sign of shedding tears. All this money Nipsey Hustle went on to earn a Grammy nomination, but he came up to the mixtape route. Rodriguez is even on two songs with him. One of them is like a mixtape song that's on YouTube. For LA artists, Chong became a go-to guy for behind the scenes videos. I created content to make sure that their promotional package is ready when they go on tour. These artists knew if they hired me, I come with a distribution pipeline. So it would get views and it would get picked up faster. This is me and Nipsey in the studio. This is, this is 2010. That's you in the back? That's me in the back, yeah. Sean got his breakthrough, the game. And when I went on tour with, with game, 2011, uh, the last day on tour, I pulled it out and I said, you have to sign this for me because yeah. I bought this when I was in high school. And I, and I told myself, I'm gonna work for you. And he couldn't believe it and he signed it. Hustle and yes, that's Ty Dolla Sign was the game's opening act. When he shot this, Chong was just a teen from South Central LA. A self-taught videographer. How old were you then? Probably like 19, 20. And he was? 26 maybe, yeah. Chong and Rodriguez both became success stories. Rodriguez as a music producer a with producer Long Beach Long Royalty. Beach. I got to work on Snoop Dogg's album. Uh, it was Top Dog, No Limit. It sold a few million records. Chong still shoots. In 2015, 2016, uh, I shot and directed and edited uh, the majority of Sprint commercials for Sprint. They also founded a nonprofit in Long Beach, Local Hearts Foundation. This is their annual back to school backpack giveaway. For their Christmas toy drive, Rodriguez has been dubbed The Hood Santa. Chong says Nipsey Hustle serves as inspiration. I realized that you don't have to be a rap superstar to do, to do what he's doing. You just have to be a member of the community and give back. Both men were shaken by Hustle's murder in March of 2019. The rapper gunned down outside his Marathon clothing store. I literally just went home. I, I canceled everything for the next few days because uh, this was the individual who who believed in me from the beginning of my career. When I die, put me next to the dead poets. Tell them God had a plan for me and I didn't know it. The community came together, even rival gangs. I got to go to a park in Long Beach and see all the rival crip Long Beach hoods get together. And to me, that was beautiful. And it was because of Nipsey. Both men say the legacy of Nipsey Hustle will live on. It feels great to see that he actually got to live out his dream. You know, that he actually got to do what he said he was going to do, and he worked hard, you know. I would see Nipsey all over the place. And John, well, he has a treasured memento, a gift from a legend in the making. We were in the studio one night, and he had just finished his mixtapes. So this is his original mixtapes that he gave me. He gave me three copies, and he said, um, listen to it, and let's shoot a music video to one of his songs. So how does it feel to hold that in your hand? It's, it's a, I call this a historical artifact. Like that. that old footage there. The end of September will mark six months since Hustle's murder. As for Chong and Rodriguez, they are examples like Nipsey Hustle of giving back to their community. I hope to do more on them over the holidays. And it's we, at that backpack giveaway, we were talking about, well, who are you guys? Where are you from? Where they talked about this old work. And we're mm. like, oh, let's do a story on that. Interesting. Yeah.